Hello and welcome to my reaction to Liverpool beating Cardiff 4-1. And in the end, for this game, the result was never in doubt. Obviously there was a stage when it was 2-1, I was starting to get a bit worried myself because um, Cardiff started getting um, a few set pieces and Cardiff are annoying from set pieces, let's say. They did score from one, but it was offside, clearly. Um, but in the end, the scoreline does represent how Liverpool played. It, it was pretty much an easy win for them. Um, started off started off quite slow for the first eight or nine minutes before Salah got a goal in the tenth minute. Um, he's not in poor form anymore, critics. Not in poor form anymore. That's another one for Mo. Uh, Manny's back on form, got another two goals. And then um, Shakiri got his first goal, which is always nice to see. But overall, I thought Liverpool. This is Liverpool are back to their best. I think uh, attacking wise, we, again we weren't at our best today, but we still managed to get four four goals. Um, going for all the goals, the first one it was a it was a scramble in the box, pretty much. It was a third time lucky from Salah as Manny hit Manny hit one. I think Wijnaldum tried to get a shot in, and then uh, Salah just put it top corner. And then um, the second one in the second half, it was quite nervy up until that point in the 65th minute, I think, where um, Manny just, um, he picked up the ball, and Moreno left it for him. I thought, I actually thought Moreno had a quite a good game. Um, and then he just put it bottom corner, a really powerful strike as well. Third one, um, yeah, it was it was good build-up play as well, again, from Liverpool. Um, but we're going to Cardiff's goal first, I thought. As, as we, did, we do go to sleep, technically it shouldn't be allowed because Van Dijk wasn't playing the ball. When it hit him, it was just a deflection, and the player was still offside. The rules should state that that show that goal shouldn't have stood. It shouldn't have stood. And then, and then Shakiri got his goal. His first for Liverpool. What what start to the season? And what a season he's having so far. Four goals and an assist for thirteen million pounds. Not bad, eh? Um, we were criticised for signing him because where he came from, and he wasn't very good for Stoke. But he's been very good for us. Um, and the fourth goal was a, a lovely little chip from Manny. Another assist from Salah as well. The front three are really firing this season. Now, now, now they are. Firmino didn't have the best game in the world, but you don't need to when the other two are doing their job. Firmino's still done his bit. He's still pressed well. He's still worked hard. Just couldn't get the final end product. When the team came out, I was a little bit shocked because um, I thought, what's the need to change the change of winning mental winning team that completely dispatched Red Star? But if you look at it as a whole, Robertson during the international break did not have a break. He played every single minute of football for Scotland. Uh, so this is probably the first time he's had a rest in a while. Joe Gomez, um, I guess Lovren can come in and do a shift. He did, didn't, didn't do too bad. The first half his positioning was poor. Um, I think in the first half we'd actually, uh, we did dominate, but I thought um, if Cars have just got one chance in that half, they, they would have equalised. Um, when Alana came in, I thought Alana just didn't suit the system today. Um, you need to be fast and quick in the counter. Whenever Sal, whenever uh, Lallana reached it in the final third, his passing was off. His passing was really off. He just he slowed the play down. He didn't find the right pass. When he did find the right pass, it was already too late because Cardiff then had like six men back at that point. Um, yeah, the rest of the team were just isn't you know, almost standard. We had Allison who pretty much had nothing to do up until their goal, which you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't do anything about that. I was he I mean, was offside, but it was a good finish in the end. Um, play ratings. Um, I start with the goalkeeper, of course. Um, Allison, nothing to do apart from what I just said about the goal. So, give him a seven. Didn't even think he played in the first half. Alexander Arnold, again, he wasn't. He's not still not quite at it yet, but he still had a quite solid performance. Um, don't want to rate anyone lower than a five because we still did win. I give him a seven. Lovren, first half, I would have said a five, but he, he did he did grow into the game more in the second half. His position was better with Virgil there with him. Um, I'll give uh, Dejan a 6 or, that's a bit harsh actually I'll give him a 7 um, Van Dijk just does what Van Dijk does he was technically at fault for their goal but I'm not going to put much blame on him for that um, I'm going to give Van Dijk a 7 as well Moreno you know what Moreno had not a bad game to be fair he didn't have much to do defensively I would have been worried if um, Murphy was then put in the right side of the midfield and he came up against Murphy then it would have been a, a, maybe a little bit more Stressful for us, but he did he did his job. He did his job going forward. Um, I'll give him a seven out of ten. Um, midfield, I thought Fabinho Fabinho was amazing today. That's the kind of number six we've been looking for. That's the that's he's our best, the best six we've had since Mascherano. I thought he was absolutely superb today. I'll give him uh, eight out of ten. Um, who else played? Wijnaldum. 
when Aldom first half he was on fire, kept sitting people on my Twitter like, How good is Wide Aldom? and it was like tens, 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 tens all over the place. I'll give him an eight as long along with Fabinho. Well Lana, in my opinion I thought he had a bit of a sh- I don't want to say that. He had a bit of a crap game to be fair. Um, I thought he was very slow on the counter. He did he did nearly get going first half, it was clear off the line. But I thought he had a quite poor game. I'm gonna give him a six. Uh, going into the front three, I'll start with um, start with Bobby. Why not? Bobby done his work. He done. He just does what Bobby does. He tries hard, pushes, pushes well, uh, gets the tackle, and always works hard for the team. I'll give him a seven. Didn't have much to. Didn't have really any chances at goal really. Um, going into the left wing, Manny got two goals of course. Um, apart from that, I thought he was quite quite quiet in the game. He wasn't his selfish self. He he did try and make some. That's about mean to say. It was his selfish self. I mean, he did play. He did play well when he got the two goals. But apart from that, I thought it was quite quiet. For that reason, I'm going to give him a eight out of ten. And Mo Salah was my man of the match. Got a goal and two assists. I'm going to give him a nine out of ten. He took his goal really well. When yeah, there was a slight deflection when it went in. I thought. <coughs> and um, two assists were really good as well. Salah's back to his full form. I think that's now. That's seven goals and like three, four assists, or something like that. And apparently he's a one-season wonder. No. And apparently Paul Merson now is saying that Mo Salah will want to leave Liverpool in January. He may want to leave because he's not celebrating his goals. Where's the logic in that, for God's sake? Um, substitutes. Um, Shakiri got a goal, and for that reason, I love Shakiri at the moment. I'm going to give him an eight out of ten. I thought when he came on, he. He was the, the spark the team needed because, like, Lallana wasn't doing much attacking wise. And when Shakiri came on, it gave us an extra get an extra man up top, you could say. Um, Milner came on. Um, he done all right. He done all right, to be fair. Um, he controlled the game well. When um, I can't remember who he came on for again. Uh, it was Firmino he came he came on for. And he just done what Milner does. Controls the play. I'll give him seven. Why not? And who else came on? Did anyone else come on? Did anyone else come on? I don't think anyone else came on. Uh, I'm going to rate the fans as well. The fans were the usual. Loud sell, celebrating the win and all that. I'm going to give them a 8 out of 10. And the manager, Klopp, he got done everything that was supposed to. I thought we were a little bit um, susceptible to um, their uh, set pieces. I thought we would have worked on that better because like they, that's their main goal threat from set pieces. Like I said, they did score from one, but they were offside. So I'll give uh, Klopp a seven because we still won four one, which is always a good result. But we weren't at our best today, and they could have had another one. But in, as a whole, the result was never in doubt in my mind. Looking ahead to the next game, we have got Arsenal away. Of course, Arsenal is really good form right now, but their defence. Well, Arsenal are like Liverpool from the first six months of the last season, you could say. Because last season, we our defence was awful. Absolutely awful. That was around that time that our front three started clicking. Their, their attack, including Lacazette and Aubameyang, is really, really good. But their defence, okay, so- Socrates is quite fast, you could say. But, defend, but as a defensive unit, I don't think they're strong. And we can get at them. We can score... On our day, we could score four past them and they could only get one against us. But with their front line, it's going to be quite difficult because of the form that they're in as well. The pacey forwards they've got, I mean, that's always been our problem. A tall, pacey striker like a Bamiang or a little nuisance like Lacazette or a creative midfielder on his day like Ozo or Mkhitaryan. Their team is really good, but their defence is poor and that's something we can really exploit. But anyway, yeah. That's been my reaction to Liverpool versus Cardiff as Liverpool go top of the table by and beating by keep bleh, by beating Cardiff by four goals to one. Um, uh, you'll you'll see me soon enough, uh, most likely in a Spider-Man video. I'm really enjoying that at the moment. Um, I thought about stopping it and re- restarting it again to do um, the new story plus, but I want this to be like a fresh series, not like what I've done already, add, adding on to what I've already done. I'm going to do the DLC once I complete the game. And so I hope you enjoyed that, and um, yeah, until next time, bye for now.